Hey folks, my name is Tim Collins. Welcome to my Jazz Vibraphone channel. Today we're going to be looking at one of the greatest Jazz Vibraphone solos in the history of music. And this is the 1936 recording of Dinah by the Benny Goodman Quartet. The vibraphonist is none other than Mr. Vibes himself, Mr. Lionel Hampton. This is an incredible solo, so we're just going to get right into it. Here we go. Benny Goodman, Teddy Wilson, Gene Krupa on the drums. Here's the bridge. No bass player. Don't need one with this group. Alright, so real quick, that intro is mind-blowing. <laughs> the first thing you hear on this recording already sounds like it's from the future. It's really cool. It actually starts on beat four. So it's like one, two, three, dab -a -dab -a -dab -a -dab -a. So there's a pickup. This is, listen to it again. One, two, one, two, three. So that's the intro, and already right away, Lionel Hampton, he, he wastes no time getting right to the good stuff. The harmonic structure of this tune is very simple. It's A-flat major, and it's pretty much like A-flat, E-flat, A-flat. It's very simple. It sounds really corny when I play it this way. Then there's a bridge, which is F minor, C7, F minor, C7. F minor, B flat, E flat, and then back to the A section. I'm not Teddy Wilson, that's for sure. Yeah, Teddy Wilson is doing all kinds of cool stuff with the left hand. He's putting passing chords in there going, and then passing diminishes going the other direction. Like that. So that's the harmonic structure. Now keep how simple that is in mind when you hear what you're about to hear. That's the last A section. Alright, take it away Lionel, here we go. I want to just, I want to go back to a couple of moments in there. Let's go right to the, I think it's the second phrase he plays. It's immediately filled with chromaticism, and you would not think that, uh, that this is 1936. Listen to this. What is that? So it starts off pretty, pretty straightforward with an A flat major 7. Something like that. And then we get this. I mean, I don't know what you're thinking there. Is it E major? With the starting on the second? And then going to the seventh on the E flat seven chord? But that's what it is. He'll just sprinkle in this chromaticism that's and then weave it perfectly into this extremely simple chord structure. Very cool. That one, that's another one. What the heck was that? I mean, that's the X-Files. Actually, there's a relationship between the previous phrase and that. If the previous phrase was this, and now he's going... One way to look at that is that he's just mixing in the A-flat minor 6 with A-flat major as a way to get some chromaticism. I don't know. That's F minor 6. There's that 
diminished riff. All right, next solo. of his second chorus actually is kind of like heavy metal-ish. Listen to this riff. I mean, can't you just imagine the guitar player from Metallica going? Just such cool stuff that he's playing on vibraphone. Remember, vibes are a relatively new instrument. It's like the instrument itself is only like 12 years old at this time. That phrase is just mind-blowing. Let's hear it again. It's very chromatic. So it's, we're on an A-flat major chord, and he plays, I mean, it's like G major seven sharp 11, and then G seven sharp 11. Let's listen to the rest of the track. enjoyed this. This has been another episode of Vibes History, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.